think about poverty to me it's mainly when a person has to spend the majority of their energy um, meeting their basic necessities um, and or just basically stuck in the mire of really not knowing how to do that um, so that extreme need kind of overwhelming their consciousness and awareness at all times of the day um, and not being able to get beyond that into the other things that um, people might like to do beyond basic necessities. I, I define poverty as uh, lacking the empowerment to direct the course of your own life. Um, and, and I think that can come from uh, you know, a simple lack of resources, uh, a lack of finances or whatever it may be, um, that one can't direct the course of, of their own life. Um, but I think it can also come from, uh, from other kinds of oppression um, that prevent people from directing the course of their own lives and, and of the direction of their communities. Um, and, so, and so to me, um, the, the solution to poverty always has to go hand in hand with, um, with empowerment and, and democracy um, so that people are active agents in, uh, in that climb out of poverty. Um, so, so I don't see kind of the traditional notions of charity uh, ever being a real solution to, to poverty um, because that doesn't, um, that doesn't create agency for the people who are in poverty. Um, and I think without that agency, they're still in one form of poverty or another. We can define it in lots of ways. Most important, I think, in an absence of resources or access to resources that would allow one to, to live uh, a comfortable life and be able to, to provide enough uh, you know, food, income, shelter. But there's also poverty of, of thought and poverty of empathy and poverty of intellect. So I think, I think we could define poverty in general, not just as a lack of resources, but a lack of, of something fundamental that makes us uh, most fully human.